Hey coach, how's it going? My name is Ben Neighbors and I'm the founder of Soccer Entrepreneur. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about why business cards and logos are BS and why you don't need to be focusing your time on trying to make the prettiest logo or trying to pass out business cards. And I'm gonna give you my personal example um, and I'm also gonna be showing you examples of other coaches who I'm helping that are doing this right now. So the first thing I wanna cover with logos or business cards, those are not going to help you expand what you're doing. The way that you're going to get your message in front of more people is by communicating and having better relationships with people. No one is going to join your program just by having a cool logo or a business card. And I don't have business cards at all. And in fact, when I go to the fields, I never even ask people um, to do anything with me regarding training unless they talk to me. If they approach me, I will always talk to them, but I'm never giving anyone my number either. I'm always getting information. So I collect the information from parents. If I'm going to give them a business card, then it's up to them to later remember who I am to call me. And the odds of that are very low. I know when they get to their car, they're probably just going to throw the business card somewhere and it might get lost. They're, they might forget my name and they won't even have my contact information at that point. And I never want to put myself in the position where I'm waiting for someone to contact me. I always want to be proactive and be the person who's calling. So because of that, I'm going to always get the information from parents. So if I'm talking to a parent right now, I would simply tell him, hey, give me your number real quick. Uh, you can text me uh, or you just put your number in right here. This way I have their information and I can call them whenever I want. And I think that's really key for you to do. Instead of handing out business cards at the field, uh, you always want to collect information instead of give it. If you're just handing out business cards or handing out flyers at the field, that comes off as pretty annoying too and, and very salesy. I see a lot of people uh, out of the fields all the time. They're putting flyers out on people's cars and I don't think there's anything wrong with that, but the odds of someone calling you from a flyer are very low. I would rather talk to someone face to face, get their information so I can follow up with them personally. And as far as logos go, I see a lot of coaches are getting caught up with logos and websites. Uh, you could go check out any of my websites right now, my logos are not anything fancy. Um, I'm not going to personally spend any time trying to create my own logo. I'd rather pay someone like 99designs um, or someone else, maybe a hundred or a couple hundred dollars to create the logo for me because I'm not an expert in graphic design. Um, I'd rather just give somebody else that task so they can do it. And remember, like I said, your business, your whole academy is not going to be based off your logo. Everything you do is based off you and your service and how many people can you connect with? How many relationships are you building? You don't have to have a cool logo or business cards to do either of those things. So if you have any questions about that and you want to get started the right way with your soccer academy, go ahead and check out my book below. It's called The Startup Soccer Academy. You're going to see a link below this video and that's going to take you to a page that's going to give you a free preview of what's inside the book. And I would highly recommend if you want to start training players, privately or in small groups or cancer clinics. That is the perfect resource for you that is going to give you the best starting point to start, grow, and scale your soccer academy. So go ahead and check that out. If you have any questions for me, comment below this video and hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all of our newest videos. All right, I'll see you next time.